Well, what do you want to talk about? Emline Fetty. Can her and me get married? Married? Yeah, you see, she is crazy mad, desperate in love with me. <laughs> it's kind of sudden, ain't it? I reckon. But you got to remember, she's just a plain, dumb old country girl. She ain't never seen nobody like me, of course. <laughs> Said so herself. And, uh, when did all this come about? When I was driving her into town and back. I didn't aim for it to happen. I tried to keep the lid clamped down on my charm, but I must have slopped over. Well, and now she's crazy mad in love with you, huh? Is she ever? Why, all the way home, she kept trying to get me to drive to some out-of-the-way place where we could be alone. No fooling. Yeah, kept asking me to get lost. <laughs> Boy, I don't believe I'd rush you into anything. But Jan, she needs a husband. Well, that's an awful dumb girl. You know that cuckoo clock that needed fixing? Yeah. She took it to a camera store. You sure you want to marry a girl that dumb? Oh, it's all right, Uncle Jed. I'm smart enough for both of us. You should have seen her face when I told her that I graduated sixth grade. Well, I wouldn't carry weight with the fetties. It never was long on learning. I think it was my cipher that really put a match to her heart and set her flaming with desire. Cipher for did you? Uncle Jim, when I got to the multiplication table at 12, <laughs> it locked it over her crazy. She commenced moaning, gasping for breath, and her eyes rolled back in her head. <laughs> Good thing you didn't sign for no gazette, she might have married you then and there. I'll go do something for her right now. Emmeline! Hey, Emmeline! Wait a minute, boy, we're just... Yes, sir! Come back! 